OK, so lots to bring you, but let's start by bringing you right up to speed on the sale of Chelsea as outgoing Russian owner Roman Abramovich faces fresh sanctions today as a result of the invasion of Ukraine. Our chief reporter, Carve Sokol, joins me on set. Good afternoon to you, Carve. Um, look, Abramovich hit very hard by the UK government, wasn't he? Um, it seems the EU is now preparing to do exactly the same. Yes, uh, we're expecting the EU to announce either later this afternoon or tomorrow morning that they have sanctioned Roman Abramovich as well. Uh, EU member states ambassadors met in Brussels yesterday mm. uh, to consider a list of 15 new Russian businessmen uh, who they are preparing to sanction. And Roman Abramovich's name was on that list. And it appears that they have agreed... Uh, that he should be sanctioned and they were meeting at 11 o'clock this morning just to rubber stamp uh, that decision. So an announcement is expected probably later this afternoon which would mean Roman Rambage's problems are really uh, piling up at the moment. In terms of the sale of the club, you've got this deadline for best bids, that's Friday, isn't it? Um, this isn't a typical way that you, you sell a £2 billion organisation. So what can we expect and who seems best positioned? Nick Candy was talking yesterday, wasn't he, quite candidly? Yeah, I mean, if you, if you want to buy Chelsea, uh, you have to put a consortium together unless you've got the money yourself mm. and you've got to contact the investment bank who are handling the sale, mm. uh, the Rain Group. Now, they've set this deadline of Friday uh, for best bids to come in. So, yeah. in effect, it's a kind of auction. If you want to buy Chelsea, put your bid in by Friday and the best bid will win. But it is going to be very, very complicated because, to begin with, lots of different people are interested in buying Chelsea. Mm. Uh, but... Obviously, some of them are not going to have the money. Some of them are going to be time wasters. Some of them are just doing it for publicity. So I would be surprised if there were more than five or six serious bidders. And also bear in mind, some of the people interested in buying uh, the club will not have shown their hand yet. So we will not have heard anything about them whatsoever. Mm. But out of the people who we know are interested, there are some very, very serious uh, bidders. For instance, the consortium uh, that is made up of uh, Todd Burley, hans Jörg Viss, and also Jonathan Goldstein. Uh, now, that is somebody who uh, is a part owner of the LA Dodgers, uh, a Swiss billionaire, and also a very, very rich London-based uh, property investor. Now, they are willing to pay over two billion pounds for Chelsea and they've already made one bid. Mm. Uh, then there is Nick Candy who we heard from uh, yesterday. My colleague Gary Cottrell spoke to him as he was arriving at Stamford Bridge. He's a Chelsea season ticket holder. He is a luxury property developer. Now I'm not sure he's got the money himself to be able to afford Chelsea mm. but he certainly has the contacts to be able to put together a very serious consortium to try and buy the club and he says that is exactly what he's trying to do. Significantly as far as Nick Candy is concerned he's also said that he wants to have a fan representative yeah, on the board. Mm. Uh, although at the moment Chelsea have already invited uh, fans to take part in board meetings but it is not a permanent mm. place for a fan representative on the board. That is something that Nick Candy is willing to offer and he's also said that in the short term if Chelsea have any financial problems obviously they don't have very much money coming in at all at the moment. He is willing uh, to invest money in the short term to make sure that they stay in business. Is he uh, allowed to do that? Will the government let well, him do that? He, he, he's saying he would do that as long as it uh, complies with yeah. government restrictions. So mm. he's willing to do that. Apart from him, uh, the other name that emerged over the weekend, which is very, very interesting, uh, first reported by Mark Kleiman of Sky News, is he saying that Sir Martin Broughton is uh, thinking of bidding uh, for Chelsea or joining another consortium. Now, he is somebody who was brought in to Liverpool about 13 or 14 years ago. He was the Liverpool chairman and he oversaw the selling of Liverpool to the Fenway Sports Group okay. and John Henry. Mm. And he is somebody who's also a Chelsea supporter. So he's somebody who has experience of selling Premier League clubs. So he's another name that's emerged over the weekend.
Look, if you're a Chelsea fan, and, you know, I, we were speaking yesterday to Ashraf Masoudi from the Financial Times, and he was sort of saying they're in desperate trouble. You know, is this a developing story every single day, Carve? Do you look at this and you think, God, it gets worse every day? Or, you know, where, where do Chelsea fans stand? Well, look, they are in serious trouble because, uh, effectively, they have very little money coming in and they need something like a million pounds a day just to pay their players. Their wage bill is about £28 million pounds uh, a month just for their players. So they are in a very, very serious situation. And if they were to go into administration, basically that means the company is insolvent and it can't pay its bills. If that was to happen, God. then they would face a nine-point deduction from the Premier League. Now, I'm not saying that is going to happen, but there is the danger that that could happen. I think one of the things they have in their favour is that the government are really working very, very hard to try and protect Chelsea. Because don't forget that as far as the government were concerned, they didn't have to give Chelsea this special licence. Mm -hmm. They could have just said, Chelsea's owned by Roman Abramovich, he is sanctioned, so we're going to shut Chelsea down until they find a new owner. So... If I was a Chelsea fan, of course I would be very, very worried. But at the back of my mind, I would be thinking the government are trying to do what they can mm. to keep us in business until we find a new owner. So bottom line is, by Friday, there should be a big movement on this because of these... Best yes, bids. by Friday, we should have... Uh, we should know who the preferred bidder is. And then the preferred bidder has to prove to the government... Uh, that where their money is coming from is a legitimate source and they also have to prove that none of the money they're paying for Chelsea will go to Roman Abramovich and after that they will have to pass the Premier League owners and directors test before they can officially take over Chelsea. And how long do you think that process takes? Well, at, at least at least weeks, months we are, we are looking at. I think one other thing that's in Chelsea's favour is that this has happened towards the end of the season mm. because there's only, what, two months left to, until the end of the season. So I think they're very, very fortunate that it didn't happen earlier. But as I said, there's a real uh, will on the part of the government to make sure that Chelsea do not go out of business.